Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So this is going to be a three card reading to get your day started. Let's see what's happening for today. Three card reading, what we have got happening today. Let's see, let's start this again. All right, three card reading. What's happening for today? Uh oh, Ten of Pentacles. Okay. We got Ten of Pentacles, Ten Ten. Okay. All right, we got Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, and a Queen, a Queen of Swords. All right. Let me see what I'm feeling right now with this. Um, so we got money here. We got heavy burdens. We got somebody telling it like it is. All right. So let's start with the Ten of Pentacles, period, point blank. So Ten of Pentacles, affluence and abundance, financial success, prosperity, generational wealth, karmic gifts, security. That's your focus. That's what's happening to you right now. That's what's in your energy. That's what's around your area and surrounding you. We got the Ten of Wands. Commitment and dedication. So things that you are committed to, things that you have to take care of, things that are that you are tied to, bond and bound to, dedicated. Um, feeling weighed down, exhausted, you might need to take a break. Too many responsibilities, feeling overwhelmed, too many burdens. You could be in the middle of a big project, and this is where you need some, you know, help and support, some cheering. Um, your personal cheerleaders. Huh. Don't give up. There's endless rewards when you're done. And it's like um needing maybe if you need someone to talk to, you might need to just go ahead and do that. And let somebody know if you need help then you need to ask for help but you're almost there you're almost to the place so it looks like he was taking wood to the house you know maybe to make it warm he's almost there so now is not the time to give up we have a queen of swords energy somebody that tells it like it is somebody that has the ability to make plans and devise strategies to complex problems in an unemotional detached unbiased non-judgmental way somebody that creates clear boundaries can easily see misdirection and lies combines mental clarity and intellectual power to give great advice so this is telling me you need to create some boundaries so definitely because when it comes to your money you have affluence and abundance it's like people coming to you to take care of them people coming to you because you got people coming to you to just just coming to you and now is the time when it's like you already have a lot to do. So now it's like, oh, you got to tell these people, yeah, you can't. If you can, you can. But if you can't, you can't. And you have to be stern about it. Um, also, creating clear, uh, creating clear boundaries. If you can help a person even by not giving them, but uh, not giving them monetary, monetarily, but giving them gain. Meaning, um, listening to their problem and then coming up with a way for them to get it done themselves. So you still helped, even though you didn't just handle it yourself because you already have a lot of shit already on your plate to deal with. Also, when you see bad behavior because spotting misdirections and easily seeing misdirection and misdirection and lies you know when a person is bullshitting you blowing smoke up your ass so that's when you need to let them know like yeah i know you lying because bad behavior should not be rewarded i'm not gonna give you for you uh, mishandling your own funds you went to the club and now you want money from me nah i'm out here working hard for mine um, you need money to pay bills, but meanwhile, I just saw you go do something, you know, that was, you could have spent that money on your bills. 
sometimes people don't want to hear that, but it just is what it is. Don't come over here asking me for my stuff if you don't want to hear what I'm going to say behind that. It's, it's as simple as that. So paying attention to people trying to add more weight on your back. Meanwhile, they're out playing. It's like the, what do you call it? The the ants and the, when they were working hard, storing up food for the winter and the other people were out playing. No, you don't get to do that. So you over here working hard, taking care of your shit, trying to get everything done. But yet they over there playing. But when it's time for stuff to get done properly, they got to come ask you. It's a no. It's totally a no. And so, not being mean, but being stern about this is what I'm doing, this is what I'm not doing, I can, you know, kind of help you out in a direction if you can and you want to, because that's still up to you. But at the end of the day, no, not letting people take advantage of you and not putting yourself in situations that don't serve you. Okay, so, and then we have... Um, 1010 is associated with joy, purity, unconditional love, and abundance. When this number keeps showing up in your life, it is thought to mean that the angels are trying to tell you that you are on the right track to receiving these associations. The angel number 1010 is a yes. So yes, you will be financially because um, that 10 is affluence and abundance, financial success, prosperity, generational wealth, karmic gifts, and security. Keep going. You're almost there. Yes, it is yours. Yes, you can have it. What's for you will always be for you. You'll be given the time and opportunity to travel or you'll meet someone new. One thing for sure is that you will be prepared to enter into a transformative stage in your life. You have angels actively protecting you from harm and 1010 angel number is a grounding number, meaning that the universe is trying to get you to see how large a role you play in this world, showing you that this number is the angel's way of getting you to see how life works. You are not insignificant and your life is much more meaningful than you think. Don't let anyone, even yourself, tell you otherwise, okay? And this also means that you should keep your heart open and know that you are in perfect alignment and in the perfect spot to receive the highest form of love. Love is meant to be an eye-opening experience and the universe wants you to know what real love is and how to recognize it. Okay, collective, so thank you for coming to my channel. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Go with God.